property merchants and billionaire Rito Olu Okewu has said that uh, should Nigeria disintegrate, the Southwest will lose out the most of most as the region has over the years only produced mostly area boys and fake pastors. Okewu said this while speaking at a church service organized in his home to mark his birthday over the weekend. In his words, he said, I have noticed electricity is no longer in abundant supply because Shiruru has been surrounded. Giriru has been surrounded. Electricity is being generated in the north. Those who are saying divide don't know what they are saying. Even if we divide today, the gas that they would use to run any turbine comes from another area. Unfortunately, my people here from the southwest will be the ones to lose out most because what we have produced mostly are area boys and fake pastors. We need to pray for the unity of Nigeria, he said. So I don't know what you guys think or make up make of what uh, this uh, man is saying that uh, if Nigeria breaks today, that the Southwest will be the most affected. Now that Nigeria has not, has not broken or Nigeria has, has not disintegrated, so what can we show for it? Because all of you just be talking, I don't even understand you people. No. Now, what stops Nigeria you know, to be great? From being great, what stops Nigeria with, what, or with all of the things that we have, with all the things being together, of what use is our being together? I'm not even, I'm not disputing that because if you are complaining about those who are calling for disintegration of Nigeria, if you are castigating them that that is not the issue, then tell you have to give us facts that, you know, that will make us believe or that will, that will make us to, you know, castigate or criticize those who are calling for one uh, for disintegration of Nigeria. You have to give us facts. Why we should continue to talk about one Nigeria? Is it just to talk about one Nigeria? I don't understand what all of them are talking about. What are the things uh, uh, in place? What are the plans in place? Something that we have done for 60 years and we, and we, we, we the things happening and that is how these people always mislead people. Yes, our being together is supposed to be a blessing, it's supposed to be an advantage. But of what use is it now? And the trend is still on there. It's still going. The Bible says that once the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? There is a faulty foundation that you guys are not addressing. And that is my, that is my concern. For as many are always coming that to talk about, oh, eh, we cannot disintegrate. And... This they can and they will tell you yes we know that we have problems for how long are you going to be uh, romancing with all these problems and when you see the formation of this country you know that it's going nowhere they are not ready to change you have you might have a different mindset but other people will think that they are in control they have mindset a lot of people from other regions they have open mind they are just doing their own thing but some people don't have that mindset they have been planning a lot of things before now and it's manifesting in this administration. So when you are talking about we want Nigeria or whatever, what are the facts? How, that is the, how, how they have been giving people hope for more, for more than 60 years. Decade in, decade out. Year in, year out. Every day. Eh, it's going to be better. How? How? Is it God that will make it better? God has given us everything, and yet we are refusing to, 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 to do the right thing, to make use of all of the things he has given to us. He's still telling us this is the way to go about it. We say no. We don't want to do it. We don't want to do the right thing. We are not even talking about electricity. I'm only saying that. We are not even talking about how, at least, what are the things, when you talk about this, the social amenities, what are the things from all those social amenities that we know, of, that we can even boast of that, oh, when it comes to this area, yes, we are okay, this area has been settled. None. None. See, a lot of people now try to convert their money into dollar, trying to do investments outside the country because the Naira is getting useless every day, every day. All of you should be ashamed of yourself. How much is Naira now? How much is Naira now compared to other currencies? How much is, what is the value of Naira? What is the value of Naira? You can see, and it's going higher. There's no, there's no, there's no any plan to make it to regulate it. They'll be telling you, Kudoe has done this. Oh, now they are, they are crying for 
subsidy to be removed. The same people that lied to us. You know, these people just feel like, uh, let me just talk. Uh, one Nigeria, uh, just forget it. Everybody just have to be, uh, the, the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable. We pray for unity. Pray for unity unto words, unto lies. Uh, just pray for unity, that's it. Go back. No, no, we are not. Let us think deeply. No deep thinking. Uh, one Nigeria, uh, unity. Let us pray for unity. Unto, no, unto what? You have a relationship with somebody and the, the relationship is not a, is not yielding any positive result. And you see, you see, you see, you want to continue. And the, you have made all necessary plans to, you know, whether there's going to be a change or there's going to be, you know, maybe things will get better. But it's getting worse, God's God, we're saying, getting worse every day. So, in one term, de define yourself. You continue to do something over and over again, no result. You are doing a business, you are wasting money every now and then. Must you be told to say, oh, I need to change, I, I need to change a um, business. Maybe this business is not for me. If you continue to do that kind of a thing, in one word, you need to define yourself. Because all of them, everybody just is coming at. Then what, what are we going to do? Is it a, is a, is a rocket science? Where are we when it comes to development? They always talk about, you know, it's just like uh, somebody who has about uh, 10 children. Ah, you know, when you have 10 children and you are able to take care of those children, believe you me, with, uh, by, uh, with God on your side, you are going to enjoy those children. You, but you have children, you don't take care of them. You just say, uh, anywhere, belief, you say, God go drown. And God go drown. You are not even planning. You are not even planning, okay, this is uh, the way I want to go. You know your income and you are giving best just like that. No even spacing. Anywhere Belefe is and God they give a God has said a multiply a whatever and replenish the head. That is the judge. Ah, ah. All these people that call themselves elite. Tell us re one reason. Whether people are producing Agbero, they are producing a fake pass also. That is not what we are talking about. That is not what we are talking about. All of you, you go abroad, you see what is happening. At the end of the day, replicate what's is happening over there even if you don't replicate at least as human being you know what is good for you you don't even need to go about to say oh this is what is uh, okay for me every country has its own unique way of doing things but in as much okay these things are good or this particular thing is good this is what i want to go about it fine you know anyhow you want to do your own thing but everybody will be able to appreciate yes the man at which you are going about it everybody will appreciate it whether you know they are from different uh a race but once someone something is good everybody embraces it so when they talk about a uh, uh, if in nigeria breaks today uh, they will produce one this and this and that it's unfortunate honestly it's unfortunate when you see hear these kind of people talking in this manner i'm not from southwest but sir, i disagree with your assertion the southwest has abundant human resources in every field of human endeavor i mean geniuses and experts in office please this talent should be given the right atmosphere to flourish not this lord luga error that have caged everyone stiffed our creativity enterprise spirit and aborted our development and made us a laughing stock in the eyes of the world hmm. you can imagine so there uh, is this kind of arrangement people are dying every day nobody's saying anything um uh, uh, people Poverty level is, is alarming. Nobody is saying anything, but uh, pray for the unity of Nigeria. Pray for unity as what? Some of them who are who are privileged, very tiny fraction of the population that are privileged, they will just come and be vomiting the Nyano Pata because you think uh, maybe things are just working for you. Then what is the percentage of people like you in the society? So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.